What's up, everybody? We're back with another edition of 95X Cares. It's our community animal rescue effort. It's brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar. I am Dixon, and this is Jenny. What's up, Jenny? How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? You know, not bad. It's still a bit hazy and sepia-toned outside. It's a little it unsettling. It's wild, isn't it? It's very like dystopian kind of feeling out there. Uh, I feel like if I had an original band, I would have used all that free production value today to shoot a music video. <laughs> I'm sure you would have. Yeah. I don't put that past you. Uh, so you brought us a very, very interesting dog, and I'm intrigued by Dova. Tell us about Dova. Isn't Dova beautiful? She's so unique looking. I just, this is one of those dogs, again, that I was scrolling, and then I just stopped, and I was like, and there she is, our 95X dog that we're going to be discussing. Is she German Shepherd? Is she, like, I have no idea what is in her. She kind of looks like a little coyote to me. Uh, but I think she's beautiful. And she's about two years old. Uh, and she's looking for some stability. That's, I think that's a good way to kind of capture it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so she has been really bounced around. And that's super unfortunate because... Uh, as we know, all of our shelters are super overcrowded and there's no reason for a dog to continually be adopted out and returned at literally no fault of her own. Uh, that is what at least the Herkimer County Humane Society has been saying is that this is literally no fault of Dova's. It's just what it is that she keeps getting returned and kind of ending up in hands that aren't uh, but putting forth the full commitment. Uh, that being said, she does need a home. Uh, no kitties and she's dog selective so plan on doing a meet and greet but otherwise this is your like super chill house crate basic training good with kids loves the car ride to cuddle like she's perfect in every other way so just make sure that she jives and fits with your family really well and otherwise like she's really just good to go absolutely and she's a beautiful dog Available now, it is the Herkimer County Humane Society. The number's on the screen, 866-3255. Um, I got to say, I think there's some shepherd of some sort in her too. Yeah, so it, yeah, it yeah. really is like the, the the perfect, unique dog. She's gorgeous, great coat. Um, and she just needs that home, right? Because like, mm -hmm. I'm sure that it hasn't been the same shelter every time, right? Like, And even if it was, what, what really is the comfort in that oh absolutely you know i i read something recently that was just so yeah so i know that you and i we beat it to death all the time that they the shelters are super 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 overcrowded like there's no space for dogs no more kennels available and they're still taking in dogs because we have that big of an issue locally uh so first of all find out where you're supporting and make sure that you're supporting those that are directly taking dogs from our community and trying to get those dogs into homes locally, because I think that it is just imperative that we address the crisis locally first uh, before we start helping other areas. We have to come up with a model that works, right? Um, but so I was reading and it had said that, you know, for the for those crowd of people who are like, well, I just don't have time, right? Number one, which one of us has a plethora of time on our hands where we can just go and do whatever. Uh, I have friends who have multiple jobs, multiple children, multiple dogs, and they're not just dumping them and being, well, I don't really have time for them because I promise you that a dog would rather wait at your house for eight to 10 hours a day while you're working and have you come home to them and be able to snuggle, cuddle, just visit with you then stay in a loud and scary, you know, environment with tons of other dogs who are barking and it's cold and it's not cozy. That doesn't sound fun. Your couch sounds a bunch more fun where they can sit and watch the world out your window and have a human who gets to come home and feed them and maybe give them a piece of popcorn. I don't know. Uh, but that sounds like a much better life than sitting in a shelter for year after year waiting for your home or to be continually returned to that really upsetting environment so that's just something for those people who are like considering uh you know oh i don't have time so i should probably just give the dog to a shelter and they're going to get adopted out the adoption process we're not overturning these dogs it's not like you're returning them and then a few days later they're in somebody else's home that's a thousand percent not the case um so just be mindful and if you know that you're not ready for a dog don't like decide well i'll try it maybe try fostering 
but try volunteering and see if that fits. And then maybe you'll learn like, ah, oh, like this does work and then adopt. Um, but maybe don't dive in if you're not sure. Like commit to the dog, their family members. Absolutely. And to your point, right? Like think about how much we value being home and being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Right. So put that same ideology to work in a dog's mind, right? Like the shelter isn't a fun place to be, right? Like I know we're fully aware of that, but there's nothing quite like the feeling of home. So if we can give some of these dogs that feeling of home, trust me, right? Like my dog sees us for about an hour in the morning and a few hours at night. Dog's never been happier in its entire life, right? Like we <laughs> both have full-time jobs and second jobs and other things. And he's grateful. And you can tell that he feels at home. He's got all of his spaces. You know, you can provide that for a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have a ton of time to walk him, whatever, fenced in yard, figure out a way to do it. My wife and I put in a, a long lead run. It's yeah. safe, it's secure. He can entertain himself. Uh, and, you know, when you don't have time to walk him because you have a Zoom or a segment to record, you can let him outside. He can entertain himself, get his exercise in, right? There's always a way. If you're passionate Absolutely. enough about having a pet, you'll find a way to make it work for your life. Absolutely. So, if, and even if you're just hearing us, you know, talk about these ideas and you're like, oh, maybe jump into that foster thing. Like I said, get, give it a shot. And if it works for you, great. That's amazing. And if it doesn't, then at least you found out the right way instead of committing and then returning because that process is just, it's shady stuff. And I know that there's some reasons that are like legitimate and it's like, okay, like that makes sense. But if this is just like a time thing, like we just said, that, that's, yeah. that's, that's not a good excuse. Exactly. Uh, once again, Dova, she's, you can change your name. We're not going to be mad about that one. Uh, she's available at the Herkimer County Humane Society. The number's on the screen. Reach out, get your application in. Uh, and again, you know, maybe if you don't get Dover, you're already on file. You see another dog that Herkimer County Humane has. You're top of the pile because you've already got the whole thing checked out. You're vetted. The application is in. And then you just put your deposit down and go pick up your new best friend. I love it. I think that's a great idea. Awesome, Jenny. Well, thank you so much for bringing Dova to our attention. Reach out to Herkimer County Humane Society. All the contact information is on the screen and we will be back next week. Jenny, thank you again. Thank you. I'll see you then. It's 95X Care is your community animal rescue effort brought to you by the Law Office of William Batar for 95X.